Hey, what's up guys? You're back with your man, Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now today, it is all about the latest tech from my channel recently, and that is the Lenovo Z5 Pro. I have got my first 100,000 views on my YouTube channel on this video for the first time. So first of all, I wanna say thank you to all of you guys. Um, so many people have been asking tons of questions on the thread with comments and replies and what have you. So I've decided to make this video just to give you guys some answers before my final review comes out next week. So without further ado, let's go. So my first comment here comes from Kamal Din. He said, waiting for the full review, Nick, don't forget about the audio quality. So I already mentioned the review here, guys. It will be out within the next week or so. I have so much tech with me right now that I'm busy doing, and I have a Honor View 20 coming in soon in the next couple days, so I'll be doing an unboxing of that before the review of this. But I will try to push this review out as soon as possible. I know that you guys are really excited for this phone. But going back to what he asked about the audio quality, and the audio quality is actually quite fantastic. Now, Lenovo is paired with Dolby Atmos, and Dolby Atmos is included in this phone. Though there is no option to turn it on or off, I have done plenty of research, and yes, there is a Dolby Atmos feature inside here due to its dual speaker system. Now it has one single firing speaker at the bottom here and another one hidden under the screen at the top here. However, I find that if you want the best from Dolby Atmos, you actually do have to have the screen down. It is a bit muffled when you do have it closed up like that. It's not the end of the world and it still sounds great when it is closed up, but for the best experience, it does need to be slid down. I can certainly hear that second stereo speaker coming through when I do block the bottom one. So there is an answer for you. Now, moving on from that comment, I got from Basil Alkari, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Love your videos, don't forget camera comparisons and audio quality. Once again, audio quality, right back to that one. But camera comparisons, I'm actually pretty impressed with this camera on here. I think that it does do slightly better than the Pocophone F1. Um, it has very good sensors, especially with the telephoto sensor that you don't see on many mid-range phones or bottom of the range phones such as this for this price. It can do two times optical zoom, which is great in my opinion, and does some pretty great things in low light conditions as well. So I'll bring you guys a com camera comparison with this and any other new phones that I get soon, such as the Honor View 20. So moving on from that, the next comment that I have here, where can I buy it though? You can actually buy it from AliExpress if you are in America. Now for the 64 gig variant, you're looking at around $330, and you're looking at $385 for the 128 gig variant. Now that is more expensive than I mentioned in my unboxing of $300. The phone itself from China is gonna cost you around $300, so that's about that. So if you do wanna buy it, you can get it in AliExpress and it does work on some LTE e-bands found in the states we'll get to that a little bit later so next comment here how about google play services such as the play store as i know there is no global version available right now this is from nr natchapol um but yeah there is no global version out at the moment and there is no global version coming out unfortunately uh, maybe with the lenovo z5 pro gt we will see that get a global launch but we'll get some more info on that later. Uh, for now, Google services. There is no Google services on here. Uh, it is a Chinese phone. Most of them are blocked without a VPN in China. But if you are around the world and uh, you wanna get Google services on here, you don't need a VPN, just go onto Google and or the inbuilt browser and download the APK file for the Play Store. Just make sure you update it regularly and you will be enjoying all the latest Google services, which is great if you ask me. It runs perfectly fine on here, I have all my Google apps on here, and none of them work poorly at all. So moving on to our next comment over here. Um, Imran Ahmed uh, said, gave me two comments here. Heard the nighttime camera performance is poor. Can you test that? Also, is there a manual mode on the camera? So nighttime performance, I was actually pretty impressed with. It does similar things to the Honor Magic 2, which I reviewed recently for you guys. Uh, and there is indeed a manual mode. It is known as Pro Mode, as you can see over there. So that's great. But yes, there is a nighttime mode. So if you have a look at the camera over here, if I just go to photo and there it is. There is the little nighttime mode icon at the top there. It goes into super night mode, which is what they call it. But it works surprisingly well. Maybe not the best of the best, but for this price, definitely does the job pretty well. So he asked that comment. The next, he also said, also, does the Xiaomi USB-C to headphone jack adapter work with the Lenovo in case you lose the Lenovo one? 
I have the Xiaomi one here, I have a Huawei one, I have a couple of these lying around the house. I've tested all of them and I can safely say that if you do lose the Lenovo one, you can easily go to the store, pick up any knockoff version and it should work on your Lenovo Z5 Pro perfectly fine. And the sound quality is just as great as it would have been with the original adapter. So the next comment we have here from Vincent de... Okay, that surname's a bit tricky. So Vincent, you said, I will wait a generation until the chin is gone. Now, if you look here, guys, take a look at the chin. It is really not that big. And I don't think companies such as Lenovo are gonna be bringing out a smartphone with no chin at all. And the reason behind it is that in order to do this, you actually have to bend the AMOLED screen back. That is why Apple are currently the only ones that have done this since their phone's pricing are so damn high. That literally adds $300 to the mix, being able to bend the screen back into the phone to make use of no chin over there. So for me, I would rather pay less money and get a tiny bit of a chin here. Remember, this is the highest screen to body ratio in a phone at the moment in the world, uh, and it is a budget phone, so I'm impressed with that, guys. I I'm happy with that little chin at the bottom there. I, I don't so much look at the bottom of my screen anyway, so that's cool for me. So there we go, Vincent. And the next one we have here, Okay, so you seem to comment on almost all my videos and I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, I really like the support, but I, for the love of God, I cannot pronounce your name. Itch Ditch Hassa Wassa. You asked me. For the review, can you test out audio and speakers? So the audio and speakers I spoke about, dual channel over here, which is stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos, that is great. Uh, core quality is great as well. If I'll get to that in a second. It says here, display quality compared to the Mix 3 and Magic 2. Now. If I speak about display quality here, there are very few phones that get my thumbs up when it comes to display and I am a sucker for Samsung OLED panels and this is not shy of display brightness and quality at all. This thing gives seriously rich, vivid, accurate colors and I can see it perfectly well in the daylight. For gaming and everything, the screen quality is insane. You would never tell this apart from a Samsung screen and that is because it is using a Samsung screen. So moving on from that, the build quality. Now, I got a lot of comments about the ceramic back but I did do some research and I did compare it to the Xiaomi and this is indeed ceramic. So this is not plastic, this is not metal, this is not gloss. At the back here, it is ceramic um, and the front is gloss. Uh, so battery life, this thing gets me well over a day of use. Normally when I'm getting ready for bed, it is still on about 20 to 30 percent. So with that 3,350 milliampere battery, I'm pretty impressed with it. And the charging speed of one hour, 48 minutes, which is the same as the Galaxy Note 9, even though that has a 650 milliampere battery bigger than this. Uh, it is not the best, but it is still fast charging, guys. You're not going to notice much of a difference if you just pop it on charge for 10 minutes. It'll get you easily a couple extra hours of use. Uh, so core quality, core quality is great, sounds perfectly fine, vibration, motor, it's the same guys, okay, Play Store, Google services, I got to that already, HDR ready, yes, it is HDR ready, it is HDR10 compliant on this phone, that is great, they announced that as soon as the phone got launched, um, it is HDR ready, auto brightness function, where is the sensor, so I was wondering the same thing, because it was dimming when I did have auto brightness, and you don't have to have the screen down to use it, the sensor is actually found at the bottom over here, next to the type C port over there, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it is there, I'll get to that in the full review, the sensor is down there, so if you block that, you can see that this, the screen does actually them down. Okay, so on to the next comment over here. Sharada KR. Does it get a Pi update? Now, the Lenovo Z5 Pro GT, which is coming out in January next year, um, is also shipping with Android 8.1 Oreo. Same as this. Now, we should get an Android Pi update, but my guess is it will be after Android 10. Um, so if you're looking at phone for at phones for like the best Android experience, this is not the one to go for. I actually threw a launch on here. It's what I want to get to in a minute. Uh, you can actually put a third party launch on here. Unlike other cell phone companies from China, I'm busy running a launcher here, third party launcher, Nova launcher, and it is doing brilliantly well. I haven't noticed any issues with it at all. It looks so much better than the software skin that is on this Lenovo. It is uh, it's not for me, but I got a launcher. I'm happy with that. So moving on from that There's no Pi update at the moment. No announcement for that either um, 
Fong Lawrence, does this have always on display? It is an AMOLED, you say. Yes, this is an AMOLED display panel. Thank God for that, since I am a sucker for a good AMOLED panel. And also, thank goodness, it is a Samsung panel as well. But unfortunately, there is no always on display. Some of you have also asked in my charging speed test of this phone, when you leave the phone, there is no always on display. There is also no always on fingerprint sensor display there. But as soon as you lift up the phone from a table, it brightens up and you can place your finger for the fingerprint sensor and it works great. But if you do want an always on display, I mean, I love always on display when they're there, but I don't rush out to get one. I did try one on here for the third, uh, a third party always on display you can get, but you might have to pay for a premium one since the free ones give a little bit of issues with this due to the in display fingerprint sense over there. Uh, so other than that, let's move on to the next comment. We have here Indian NYC vape. I see them on AliExpress as we speak. Everyone is Everyone is for sale, but there are no global or international versions. Will this phone work in the US on T-Mobile network bands? Yes, it will, but only on band four and five. Band four is a great band. It runs 1900 and 2100 MHZ, and it works fine in the US um, from just raw specs. I haven't actually tested it out myself and I don't know anyone that has. But if any of you are out there using this phone in the States, please let us know in the comments down below what you think What's happening? Is it working? Is LTE working? Is it good? Is it fast? Let us know in the comments down below, please. So moving on from that, Nani Niranjan, support wireless charging. No, there is no wireless charging here. I have tested it on my Xiaomi wireless charger and my ZTE wireless charger, and there is no wireless charging on here. Though in the settings, it says wireless charging sound, enable or disable. Why is that there? Is that just bad Chinese translation? I don't know. Maybe there is wireless charging, but it has to come with the update. Pfft, I don't know. Lenovo, give us, give us an answer, please. But wireless charging would be epic, but no, unfortunately, there is not. Next comment here. This is great, but Poco phone is still outshining this. This is from JJ All Day. Okay, JJ All Day. So the Poco phone F1, when you look at specs, yes, it has the Snapdragon 845 chipset. Yes, this only has a Snapdragon 710 chip in it but better cameras better build ceramic body not plastic faster charging smaller battery unfortunately my biggest thing amoled display the pocophone f1 has an lcd ips display and though it looks great it is just not amoled and once again pocophone have that huge notch at the top here and this has no notch at all. This is bezel-less and it is the same price. So if you need the best of the best when it comes to performance, yeah, sure, go for the Pocophone F1. If you have one already, great, good for you. I'm glad you got one. It is an incredible phone, but this phone takes things to another level when it is everything regarding except for the processing chip. Okay, so I hope that answers your question, though it wasn't much of a question. Shuvo Shake. Video quality is very poor. Please fix it on your next videos. I have heard this before, guys, and I am trying to improve it. Let me know what you think now. I've tried to get a backdrop here. I have more backdrops coming along. Uh, I did get a new mic, and I do have a new camera. I'm actually running this on DJI Osmo Pocket. Let me know what you guys think of the quality of this video, if there's anything else I can do to improve this. But for now, I think this is good enough. I'm running this at 4K 60 frames per second, which is what I am posting it on now as well. And all my videos will be the same as that. Moving on from that, we have Utobor Osiriman. Can face unlock work in complete darkness? Guess what? I read your comment. I went outside in the hallway of my complex and it is crazy dark. It is black, black, black. I can't even see my hand there. I open the phone, it works perfectly fine. Obviously the screen turns on, the infrared depth sensing works as well. So do that, it just works. It works just as quick. So there's your answer. So can you make calls without sliding it? Can you hear the speaker with no distortion when closed? This is from Vico207. Unfortunately, whenever you receive a call or whenever you want to make a call, it gives you a nasty prompt like this. Slide to call. So you have to slide it whenever you want to answer your phone or whenever you want to make a call. Uh, unfortunately, that is how it is because there is no speaker grill at the top, which in my opinion looks a lot neater. Though the Xiaomi has one at the top, the Magic doesn't, but you can answer the Magic without sliding it down, the Magic 2, uh, that is. So they could have done that, but obviously it would have just upped the price more. They wanted to try and keep it as low as possible. So thank you for that, Vico. Then we have ITZU. On ChinaPrices.com, it says it has a Snapdragon 845. No, it does not. It has a Snapdragon 710 chip, but 
the nerve is answered to the Pocophone F1 and to the 710 chip on here and to the 845 is that they will launch the Snapdragon 855, the first one in the world in the Lenovo Z5 Pro GT, which launches 22 January next year, the first phone lenovo are trying to make a statement they're trying to get themselves back into the game guys let me know what you think about that i will definitely be getting that and comparing it to this on my channel i'll make a full review on that but that one i'll just make a full review on the performance of the phone that could be my daily driver for sure when i get the snapdragon 855 my goodness that thing is going to be a powerhouse i just want to see how it works with the software in lenovo let's see what happens but yes 855 is coming guys and 50 dollars more than this wait for it wait don't buy this yet. Wait for that, okay? But everything I speak about on this phone is gonna be the same, so still keep an eye out on my videos on this guy over here, since it will be the same phone, just with an upgraded chip. Okay, Cash Money said, how did you get a review unit? You don't have many subs. Unfortunately, I don't have many subs. I've just hit the 3,500 mark over here. Thanks to you guys. Thanks for all the support, guys. It really means a lot to me. Um, Yes, I buy all my phones cash in China. That is what I do. I go to the store or I go to the V malls in China. I order them online, just like I did with the Honor View 20, which I just placed an order for now. Hopefully it comes tomorrow or the next day, guys. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but yes, I buy all my phones off my teaching salary here in China, guys. So any support out there or any job opportunities, please let me know. I'm really into tech and reviewing and from what I've heard, you guys are enjoying my videos and I enjoy making them for you. I really enjoy my community and the support. So thanks for that, guys. Okay, is the review coming soon? This is my last comment here, guys. Yes, the review is coming soon. Like I said in the start of the video, it should be out within the next week, but I have the Honor View 20 coming in soon, so I'll do an unboxing for that and then get cracking at the review for this guy. I have done some testing footage outdoors, indoors with this phone, so I'll bring that to you guys as soon as possible. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's just one more thing that I wanna speak about with the sliding mechanism. It's not quite as loud as the Mix 3, as the Mix 3 has those magnets in it, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'll hear, I'll hold it by the mic. When I slide it open, it sounds fine. But if I do it slow, there's an initial click before the final click. Let me see if I can. Do you hear that? That's not the slider. And it's every time. Let me know what you guys think of that. So that's maybe one build floor. It could just be my version that I have here. Um, let me know if anyone else has a Z5 Pro. I mean, it shouldn't bother many. It doesn't really bother me, but I thought I'd just bring it to you guys with the build, build quality of this phone. But so far, so good. I've actually dropped this twice. No visible marks. The ceramic does do well for that though, but the, the screen can still shatter and the ceramic can shatter as well. So guys, I'll have the review for you out as soon as possible within the next week or so. If you have not subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, this is Technic.